Today, I'm going to be taking a second look at the HP Z2 G4 small form factor PC. Now, I did a video on this PC uh, just a little while back, and I think this PC is the way to go if you're looking to get an office PC and upgrade it for gaming. Uh, Dell Optiplexes, you know, don't get me wrong, they're still great, still a good option, uh, but the HP Z2 G4 is just better. Uh, so this came with an i7-8700, 16 gigs of RAM, a 500 gig NVMe SSD, and it even came with a GPU, the Quadro P620, which is a decent low-profile GPU, but I got myself an RTX 3050 for this unit. With this PC, you aren't going to have an issue with any low-profile GPUs, uh, those thicker dual slot GPUs will be able to fit in here no problem, which is a big reason why I like this PC so much. Uh, you can get one of these on eBay right now with an i5-8500, 8 gigs of RAM, and an SSD for about $140 right now. When I first tried playing games on this PC, uh, the CPU temps were running hot in some games, uh, you know, sometimes up to 95 degrees, sometimes even more. So that concerned me a bit. You really don't want to play games consistently with your CPU that hot. Uh, so I'm going to apply some fresh thermal paste now and then try out some games again uh, to see if that helps. Okay, so I also added in an extra 2.5 inch SSD that I had lying around just for more room for games. So uh, I'm going to close this up, boot it up, and try some games to see if the CPU temp is a little bit more reasonable. As you can see, the CPU temps are still getting to above 90 degrees. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try messing around with the CPU fan speed and, uh, you know, see if I could adjust it. I did try a program for fan control and it didn't really work for me. So now I went into the BIOS here to look for fan speed control. And I found here it says increase idle fan speed, but I wasn't really sure if that would work. Uh, Listen, I'm definitely not an expert. I do call this channel Basic Dad Tech because, you know, I'm a novice. But I did want to try one more thing. So I jumped back into Fortnite, and this time I decided to cap the FPS to 120. Uh, this is performance mode, by the way. Uh, thinking by doing this, it won't keep working the CPU too much to get the maximum FPS. And honestly, if I'm getting a solid 60 FPS in most games, I'm good with that. And as you can see here, the CPU temps are much lower after I cap the FPS at 120. Um, so I'm just going to show some gameplay here to see, uh, you know, see how the game runs like this.
With Doom Eternal, I didn't have a problem with the CPU temps last time because it was set at 60 FPS. So just to see what would happen, I turned VSync off and I set the resolution target FPS to 100. Ended up getting more than 100 FPS, not sure why. Uh, the CPU temp is still okay, but the GPU usage, as you can see, has gone up to 100%. Okay, now here we have Forza Horizon 5, medium settings, locked at 60 FPS. And as you can see, CPU temp is good, uh, the GPU usage is good like this. I, I could play this game all day at 60 FPS, no problem. All right, now let's unlock the FPS to see how it does. And just like in Doom, the uh, GPU usage jumps up to 100%. Uh, CPU temp is still okay, uh, but the GPU usage is back up to 100% here. Halo Infinite, max FPS set to 100 with VSync off, medium settings. Same thing here, GPU usage maxed out and CPU temps, uh, they're in about, you know, the mid 80s here. And here we are with V-Sync turned back on and the FPS capped out at 60. So the lesson learned by me here is always cap your FPS. Uh, like I said, I'm totally fine with playing at 60 FPS all day, no problem. So now I want to see how the HP Z2 G4 does with emulation. Now here is Star Wars Battle Pods on Techno Parrot. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I muted the audio here to avoid any copyright strikes. Uh, I know Techno Parrot is a pain to set up, but it's worth it for this game and the Transformers game, in my opinion. Really wish I could play the uh, the sound on this one, guys. But, uh, you know, if you've never played this game before, highly recommend it. Here's Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate on the OG Xbox. Thank <laughs> you. 
And here's some PS3 emulation. This is Soul Calibur 4. Battle 1. Fight! Okay, one more PS3 game. Here's NHL 2012. Uh, this game gave me some problems, specifically in the main menu of the game. It was uh, having trouble loading up. Uh, but once it got going like this, as you can see, it looks pretty good. That's going to do it for this video. Like I said, this is the best OEM Office PC that I think you can get. This setup that I have here isn't really going to have a problem with most games. Uh, this PC, you know, if you're looking for a small form factor PC that you could throw in a graphics card, any low profile GPU will probably work in this thing. Uh, if you want me to try something specific with this PC, let me know in the comments section. So that's it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.